everyone. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, we are in my kitchen once again because I'm going to do a baking video. Ooh, ooh. I've actually been wanting to do a baking video for like many years and I've actually had a couple people request it over time so I thought I would take the opportunity and because my family is on holiday I can just have the entire kitchen to myself and it is not a problem at all. So today I'm going to be making some very spooky vegan banana bread because I have this coffin shaped cake tin. The one time that I used it it like looked really cool and like the little cross came out on the banana bread and everything. So I have some very dead bananas here. They are all very much deceased so I'm going to be using these to make the banana bread. I have my big old recipe folder here. It just has like a bunch of recipes that I've collected over time. To be honest, they're mostly all from the same place. The one I'm using today is this one. This is actually for gluten-free banana bread, but I don't really give a shit about gluten. <laughs> so I'm actually using a different flour to what's in here. The recipe is by Cooking with Plants. They're like one of my favourite places to go to for vegan recipes because they're really easy and they're also Australian. So it has like all the proper metric I don't know, measurements. I have my bowl and I have like all my ingredients around everywhere. So I guess I'm just gonna get started. First we need to do the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna do the flour. I'm actually just using wholemeal self-raising flour. I don't know if I actually have enough in here, but if I don't, I'll just borrow some borrow some of mum's flour. Borrow it and not get it back. <laughs> I think this needs um two cups. It's been so long since I've baked anything. I used to love baking back before I was vegan and now that I'm vegan I have to like relearn kind of all of the baking stuff because it is a bit different when you're not using eggs and stuff. I mean it's really mostly eggs that kind of make it different like because milk is easy to replace but it's worth it. Okay it turns out I had enough flour so that's always good. I need a quarter cup of coconut sugar. work this is all good oh yeah it works sort of I don't really care I love cinnamon okay <laughs> a little more than a teaspoon but that's okay I'm also gonna add some sultanas because I put sultanas in pretty much everything if I can put sultanas in it I'm absolutely going to do it I forgot to get a spoon if you want to say not quite a spoon, but I got this like spooky spatula with bats on it. I mean, it's spooky baking. Like my favorite thing that I used to bake was orange and poppy seed muffins because I always used to use the oranges that were on our tree at the front and that was my winter baking that I would do since you know oranges are a winter fruit and all that and it was like a tradition and uh, yeah, I loved, I loved making those. This says you need three small bananas, but all of these are kind of large so I might use like two and a half. I'm definitely gonna use this guy because he's really having a hard time. I mean, what even is a small banana? I think I'm gonna use two and a half. It's always a pleasant surprise when you think a banana is like really, really close to dead and then it's actually, oh, I was gonna say, and then it's actually okay, but uh, no, it's very bruised. Never mind. I really don't like the smell of ripe banana. It's just not very pleasant, especially when it's like a banana's been sitting in your bag or your lunchbox for a few hours and then the whole thing just stinks for weeks. Not my favorite thing. See, this one even has like a hole in it because I had this in my bag and then it ended up getting stabbed by the other stuff in there and uh, got a hole in it so I didn't eat it. Look at that. <laughs> He's wounded. Does that seem like a lot of banana to you? I don't know. Whatever. Unless like you're one of those crazy people that thinks eating fruit is the same as eating confectionery. <laughs> Have you heard people say that before? I think this is mashed enough. What do you think? I think that's pretty well mashed. It's kind of disgusting, but... phone stopped recording this business after about four minutes so I think you missed me adding the sultanas and mashing the banana but good thing we have two cameras going at the same time so anyway just showing this camera now here is my plate of smushed mashed squishy banana that looks kind of like baby food pour all wet ingredients on top of the dry and gently mix through until just combined don't over mix yeah, I think this is ready to have Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I'm making such a mess. So I'm gonna put the bananas in. It just really still seems like a lot of banana, but 
just to let it go. It's in there now. We need half a cup of apple puree. For apple puree, I'm just using baby food because that's, it's literally just apple, so it's it should work. Never seem to use all of it up in time, so I end up wasting it if I get a big one, so that is why the baby food comes in handy because it's in such cute little compact jars, you know? So I know that both bananas and apple puree or apple sauce can be used as an egg substitute in baking, so I think that's probably what the story is with the apple puree, I think. That's my guess anyway, but there's so many egg substitutes you can use, like you can use nut butter and bananas. Oh, flax seeds, yeah, you make like a flax egg, which I've never been very good at making rice at all, I always stuff it up. I will get it one day. Three tablespoons of maple syrup. There's one thing that I love in life, it's maple syrup. <laughs> I'm not even kidding when I say that, I love it so much. It's, it is the best. Lastly, I need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is actually my mom's, but this is like concentrated. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really gloopy. So my mom suggested that I probably use half a teaspoon instead because it sounds like it's really strong. Oh, sniff it. Oh, so look at how gloopy that is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I just sneezed into the banana bread. That is disgusting. I'm so sorry. I'm probably gonna be the only one that eats this, so don't worry. <laughs> wow, that's like thicker than the maple syrup. That's really, that must be really strong. I'm pretty sure that's done now. So there it is, like all mixed up. I think this is ready to go into the beautiful coffin cake tin. I don't remember if I used baking paper last time, but I feel like I would have like that. I think that would make the most sense. So I'm gonna line it with baking paper just to be safe and hopefully the shape still comes out how we like it. Here is the mixture of the tin. I don't want to like tip it up too much. Yeah, there it is. It's ready to go in the oven. So we're gonna put this in now. favorite way to eat banana bread is to have it warm and to add some Nutilex on top, so I'm going to do exactly that. I'm scared I haven't cooked it properly. Shit. That was not very elegantly cut, but that's okay. Can we just appreciate? Look at my spooky plate. <laughs> I think it's quite suiting considering the circumstances. I'm going to add some Nutilex. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm not really that big on presentation to be completely honest with you. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm one of those weirdos that eats everything with a knife and fork. Honestly, the most satisfying part about cooking videos is when the person tries what they've cooked, so... Mmm, tastes the same as last time. Mmm. <laughs> Even if you're not vegan and you just want a good banana bread recipe, like, this is it, let me tell you. It's so easy, it works every time, it tastes good, I mean, it's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go eat my banana bread because it's really nice and I just want to kind of sit down and enjoy it. But I had fun, so I hope you did as well and I really wish that you could try this because if I could share this with you, I totally would. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.